Hey guys, I'm Trent with Guitar Animal, and today, new guitar day, I want to go over with you a few things, a few points on your guitar that if you did just pick up a new guitar, uh, it will probably need some adjusting. Uh, this would be true even if you bought it down the street from you, particularly if you bought it at a big box store. It's not going to have been adjusted appropriately, more than likely, came out of the box, hung on the wall. If you ordered it from states away or countries away, it will definitely need to be adjusted. And I'm going to talk with you a little bit about what those adjustments are and also some companion videos that you can either link to below or go to guitaranimal.com and you can get, check it out there and see what exactly I'm talking about in more detail. But what we're talking about is when you get a new guitar, uh, guitars are made out of wood, of course, and so they're going to respond to humidity and temperature differences. So if it's drier or moister in the store that you purchase it at and then you take it to your home, you're going to find that it's going to react within about a week to 10 days and probably not play as well as it played in the shop or maybe it wasn't playing well to begin with. Things that affect that would be the adjustment of the next truss rod which affects the bow of the neck. You can check the link in the section below this video and see exactly what a truss rod is, how it works and how to adjust it. But typically it's either going to be too forward bowed or it will be too back bowed. It won't be optimal for your playing. So you want to look at that and have that, have that adjusted. Uh, if you're handy you can look at the video that I have in the link below and do it yourself. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, uh, take it into a luthier or a small shop that specializes in being able to adjust your guitar and make that work for you. A couple other things that are going to be probably out would be the height of the strings, which is the action of the guitar. Are the strings playing cleanly? Or are they buzzing or rattling? And that could be either a back bow or a forward bow situation, depending on exactly how the guitar was set up initially. If it was set up initially, most guitars are not. They're built at the factory. Uh, with these bridge saddles in about the right position, but they don't really spend a lot of time adjusting each individual guitar to play perfectly. The other thing will be intonation, which will be the length of each string. You'll notice, for example, in the Stratocaster style guitar, we have six saddles, which can be adjusted not only up and down for the action, the playability of the guitar, but also for the length of each string, which I'm going to have a video over Guitar Animal, which will go into more detail on how do you adjust intonation but in general, what's happening there is as you play each string, each string will play in tune at a slightly different length. So that's why each one of these strings has to be either longer or shorter. So you'll want to have all that addressed. That's under the heading complete setup or complete guitar setup. And that would be where a shop would actually adjust the neck bow to the truss rod. They would adjust the height of the action. They put whatever string that you like on it. For example, I've got a lot of different string packs here. And if you have a favorite string, it's pretty guaranteed that string's not on the guitar when you bought it. Uh, so what you want to do is pick up whatever set of strings you want to use, whatever gauge you like. And when they do the setup, they do the setup with that set of strings on it that are brand new. That way, every time you buy your string again and put a new set of strings on, it's basically back to zero and it's going to be playing right for you. So this again is complete guitar setup. Make sure you check out the companion video at GuitarAnimal.com. I'm Trent and I hope you've enjoyed this video.